Hey guys, so today I would like to make a video about the fishing tackle gear backpack that I carry when I go surf fishing. So I'm going to get on my bike this morning, do a little workout, and then we'll get to it. Alright guys. So the reason that I'm doing these videos is so that I can... Um, possibly teach a new fisherman or a young fisherman how to do some things that even I'm still learning how to do. Um, I'm fairly new to fishing as well. But at the same time, I've been around it my whole life. Um, I've, I've seen things, I've, I've, been in, I've, I've had family members, I've had friends that I've been around, but now I'm starting to immerse myself in it and be more of a part of it. So... If there's anything that I can do to help people learn, I want to be a part of it. You know, if it's through YouTube videos or if it's, you know, running trips as a guide, you know, those are things that I want to start doing. So um, I actually was going to make a testimonial and talk about some stuff that I was going through right now. But um, I think that stuff will come in time. So I'm going to edit that part out. But, you know, let's start here. Let's get this video down. Um, let people see, you know, how I, how I carry my stuff. And, uh, and hopefully it'll help you. And, yeah. Thank you. Alrighty. So, I've got my reels and my rods hanging up. There's my backpack got my bucket with my waders and I've got a cast net in the bucket and up top I've pretty much got my whole setup which is <clears throat> my basket I don't have the flotation wheels the big uh, donut wheels I've just got the regular tires which I'm planning on upgrading <clears throat> I've got my old tackle box which is that clear thing which I had everything in that I've now got in my backpack I've got my Yeti cooler up there some chairs tents rod holders are over there up in the corner uh, let's see so pretty much what I've been using is see if I can get one down I've got a smaller one right here is uh, this pin fierce three reel and rod combo you can get them I guess at like Walmart and Dick's I also picked up also picked up a Centara combo from uh, Okuma, which has some different features about it. It's a, I want to say it's a nine or ten foot rod, um, but it's the rod and reel combo. I got that at Dick's. It does all right. Um, I took it out on this last trip. I don't think it's as it's as good as the uh, the the pin combos that I have. It wasn't as pricey as those, um, but you know it's it's what I can afford. You know, pretty much everything that I've got is you know pretty much just budget stuff. I mean, you see this pink and blue Sea Striker combo that I got at like a bait and tackle shop. It is what it is. You know, you you fish with you know. You fish with what you can with what you can use you know there's there's people in third world countries using you know just lining a hook and throwing it out there and pulling it in by hand so you know you got to do what you can do uh something that we uh picked up here recently was this uh this ozark trail soft cooler right here and this thing is sweet
another one of my uh, investments. I don't know if you can see it. It's too high for me to grab without a ladder, but uh, I got a, that white bucket up on top of that, uh, that old clear uh, tackle box that I had. Is a uh, Cool Bubbles uh, live well that I picked up on this last trip that uh, that me and mom went on. Uh, it's it's my first time using live bait by myself without being on like a charter or something like that. And it went uh, it went really good. I ended up catching a uh, 25 inch redfish. So um, that's one thing that I got. On the far right is a. Is a tackle box that my uncle gave me that is stocked full of uh, freshwater uh, tackle and it is my plan to actually get that whole box separated cleaned out and put back together and I'm gonna put together a couple of freshwater rods um, I've got I've got some light tackle rods uh, set up that you know they need to be they need to be redone they, they might not actually even be usable but uh, it's a pen cap captiva captiva 4000 um, got a little kids Abu Garcia um, something I, that I want to put together so that you know I can do some fishing videos here in central North Carolina before I venture out to the coast and start making more uh, ocean videos more saltwater videos all right so I'm gonna grab my backpack here it is a samurai tactical fishing or it's Samurai Fish Tactical Backpack, I'm not sure. It's pretty cool, Samurai Tactical. So we'll get this puppy in the house and uh, we'll take it apart. Show you what I got in it and uh, Get it all cleaned out and put it back together, talk about it some, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, put it back together and we'll put it back in here until the next go around. Alright? So again, I'm new at uh, making these videos so I'm going to have my phone as like a reference of where the camera is pointing so that y'all can uh, see decent I'm, I'm filming in 1440 which I, I think that i'm supposed to be filming in 1080 but whatever all right so pretty much what this backpack came with was the backpack itself and the tackle box which came in the second pouch so nothing came in this uh tackle box I've already got it loaded up with uh, pretty much what I use off the uh, off the surf um, so these two items came with it picked it up at Dick's Sporting Goods um, there were some other similar items that were nearby but I picked this because I like the I like the sling I like the the one shoulder deal um, let's see if I can get this tag in here again Samurai Tactical. Um, but yeah, I, I like the one shoulder deal. Um, a cool feature about it is it's got a quick disconnect clip that you can switch from one side or the other. And it comes with a uh, tackle box. Um, one thing that I don't like about it is the dark colors. It's sort of hard to see what you're hunting in there for. So basically on the beach, what I had to do was put a towel down on the ground, basically dig out what I was using for the day. 
lay it out on the towel kind of sort of like this but not to this extent i've got everything pulled out of it um we just had a trip to swansboro north carolina so i've got everything pulled out of it so that i can uh put it back in all right one thing that i didn't like about the tackle box is you've got um these little these little channels in here have spaces so when you're carrying it as a backpack and it's up vertical stuff like hooks and uh, your swivels and stuff like that will fall through the cracks and go other places other than where you want them whatever not that big of a deal so basically how i have this box loaded is I've got all of my pyramid weights in a decent place where I can see them. Um, I've got I've got my circle hooks around the outside. I've got bottom sweeper jigs up top. I've got my my round weights for Carolina rigs. Um, I've got replacement treble hooks for for my Spanish candy and for my cast masters and a bunch of different swivels and I got my uh, it's like a torpedo sinker a little two ounce that's actually even though it's only two ounces it's pretty good like when it's rough um, I guess just the uh, the design of it makes it do what it does and look there's there's a hook right there where it's not supposed to be it fell through so we're gonna put that back and close this up and we're gonna put it back in the second pouch And what I did was I, for the most part, I tie most of my rigs. Like here's, here's a little Carolina rig that I've got tied up. You know, it doesn't have the weight. I'll put the weight on after, or before I connect the swivel. So I've got some fireball rigs. These are uh, bought rigs. Another fire, fireball rig. Um... This looks like a fish finder high low rig that I bought just because I got lazy and there's another one. But for the most part I hand tie all my stuff. And then I keep a bunch of extra baggies, so I think I'll throw away the used ones. I'll fold these up. And I uh, forgot to take this out, but this is my 30 pound uh, mono that I use for my uh, uh, leader. So I'll put that in there with the baggies. Right up top, right there. All right. I've got two extra cast masters that I keep in this little sunglasses pouch um, because I keep my sunglasses on my head. Um, where do I want to start? I'll start in the back pouch. So in the back pouch, keep a, uh, a tiny cutting board for for bait um i found this cool little uh fish guide for the atlantic surf i found it in my uncle's tackle box um i know what most of these fish are um but i keep it with me it's like a sentimental thing my uncle's still around it's not that he's dead <laughs> but you know it's just pretty cool to have you know it's probably from like the 90s it's got cool pictures of the fish and it's got a it's got a ruler on all sides 
keep that in there. Um, throw a fillet knife in there. Um, this is my primary bait knife. Uh, I put that in the second pouch and it's got these little holders so I'll slide that into the holder. Uh, what's next? A pair of scissors. Keep them in this little pouch so they stay closed. Um, extra uh, fluorocarbon line, 20 pound test. Throw that in there. I've got 50 pound uh, mono that I keep just in case I want to make a heavier leader. Um, I've got a really big spool of Berkeley Trilene Mono 25 pound. It's green. It's a pretty cool color. Keep that. Uh, a descaler. A knife sharpener. Pre snailed hooks that I will put. Put them in the first pouch with the bags. I've got these uh, Z-Man. Uh, they're scented as pinfish uh, baits. I saw them on YouTube. That's why I bought them. I haven't used them yet. I guess I, you know, just put them on a jig, and jig them around. Probably good for flounder or redfish. But I didn't get to use them on the last trip, so they're still in here. They probably won't be good by the time I use them again. Let me put them in the first pouch. First big pouch. And a headlamp. This is just a, a secondary headlamp. I've got one that is bigger that I bring on my trips, but that one's in there just in case. And then I've got two hand towels. Fold up, put the top. One's rolled up, hasn't been used. Throw my zippers up top in the middle. Last but not least, my pliers, which are spring-loaded. They are from Plus Eno. They've got like a little line cutting tool. Pretty neat. Kind of splurged when I got the uh, got the more expensive. Uh, pliers jiggle them down in there put the velcro on then I've got a little carabiner hook on the bottom clip then I hook my carabiner right there so there's that I guess my next video We'll be rigging up a, uh, a rod for fresh water so that I can take my camera. Oh, found a little tape on ruler. Probably won't tape it on anywhere. Just use it. There's another towel in there. Microfiber towel. But yeah, my next video will be putting together a freshwater uh, reel and rod combo. And I may just go buy one just because I don't really have much for freshwater right now. And I will clean out the other tackle box and get that all situated. You know, I used that when I was a young or not a kid, but younger. So I did a lot of pulling out, not putting stuff back where it was supposed to go. 
uh, you know how it goes. You just get lazy. So that needs to be cleaned out. There's hundreds of dollars worth of tackle in there. Um, so we'll break that out. Maybe take you somewhere close by. Um, I don't know how that session will go just because I don't do a lot of freshwater fishing anymore so i don't know any spots but <clears throat> but we'll give it a shot so uh thank you for your time and uh i'm gonna upload this video to youtube and i will post it on my facebook page and i think that's it